Hey everyone, welcome back to daily tuition. We will understand what is IndexedDB database and how to create a database and store some values in your client browser. So first, we need to understand what is IndexedDB database. The IndexedDB is a new HTML5 concept to store a data inside the user browser. In HTML4, you can use WebSQL database. WebSQL is an API which helps developer to some database operation in client side like creating database, opening the transaction, creating tables, inserting values to the table, deleting values, and reading data. But WebSQL is deprecated in HTML5. The W3C has announced that the WebSQL database is deprecated local storage specification so web developer should not use this technology anymore. IndexedDB is an alternative for WebSQL database and more effective than older technologies. IndexedDB is a low-level API for client-side storage of significant amount of structured data, including files and blobs. Web storage is useful for storing small amount of data. It is less useful for storing larger amount of structured data. We also created a video on web storage. If you wanted to watch that video, then you can watch that video from the top right corner of the screen. IndexedDB is a transactional database system, like an SQL-based RDBMS. However, unlike SQL-based RDBMS system, which use fixed column tables, IndexedDB is a JavaScript-based object-oriented database. The features of using IndexedDB database is as following. IndexedDB will store values in key and value pair, or you can say it store key pair values. IndexedDB API is mostly asynchronous. It is not a structured query language. IndexedDB is not a relational database. It has supported to access the data from same domain. So only a single domain, you can access all the data stored in the IndexedDB database. Operations performed using IndexedDB are done asynchronously, so as not to block applications. To get access to the database, call open on the IndexedDB attribute of a window object. This method returns an IndexedDB request object. Asynchronous operations communicate to the calling operation by firing event on IndexedDB request object. Now, let's take an example and understand how to create database using IndexedDB and store values in that database. So, we will just head on to the editor. So, this is my project folder. And here I will just create a simple file. So I will just say index.html. So this is my simple HTML file. I will just create a simple HTML5 snippet here and just specify title index.db. Right? And now here in the body of this index file, I will just create a button. So I'm going to create a button here. So I will just say button type is gonna be button and specify class btn and specify text add data right just after that here i just wanted to specify some style to this button so i will just say style tag here and in the style tag i will just select the button using class so i will just say btn and just specify padding so i will just say padding 0.5 em and 1.5 em right and just save my document <coughs> so to create index db database you need to add script tag and use javascript for that so i will just create a script tag here and here i will just create ecmascript 6 function so we will just create a function that execute itself so i will just create a function here to create a function i will just say parenthesis and in this parenthesis i will just call a function so i will just specify arrow function here so i will just specify parenthesis arrow and call the function right and to execute this function when the page is load i will just specify parenthesis here right so this function is execute when the document is completely loaded right so here, I just wanted to check if my browser is supporting to the IndexedDB database or not. To check that, I will just create if condition here. So I will just say if 
in the single quote i will say indexed db in window because index db is called using window object so if this index db object is not available in the window so i will just say console.log and say your browser not supported index db database right and just specify return statement to return from this function right so if your browser is not supporting to the index db database we will just exit from this function right and if your browser is supporting to this index db database you can write your code up here index db code goes here right now i just wanted to select my button first so i will just select my button so i will just say let btn is equal to document dot query selector and call the btn class now i just wanted to create click event on this button and add a function so to do that i will just say btn dot add event listener and in the first argument i will just specify click event and the second argument is going to be a handler function so the function is going to be add data right we didn't create this add data function yet so we need to create that first and say function add data right and in this function i just wanted to create my database and insert values in that database so i will just create a variable so i will just see constant db name this is my database name i will specify my database name my db right you are free to specify anything else now i just wanted to create this database first so to create this database i will just call window object dot index db object dot open method so this method will create this database so the first parameter is going to be a name of your database so i will just say db name and the second parameter of open method is version so i will just omit this second parameter so it will take the default version and just after that i will just specify this result in the variable so i will just call constant request right so this request object has a request database so i will just name this request db right so now when the database is successfully created this object is initialized and when this object is initialized you can call on upgrade needed event handler function now here i will just call the property of this request db object so what i will do is i will just say request db dot on upgrade needed this property is event handler event fire when the bigger version number than the existing database store is loaded right so i will just call a function here so i will just specify parenthesis my arrow and the open and closing curly braces in this function i will just call the result property of request db object so i will just say here request db dot result right this property and just after that i will just specify this property in the variable so i will just say let db is equal to request dot result just after that i will just call the db dot create object store so what is create object store you can take this function as a table which you create in the sql database just like if you wanted to create a table in sql you will say create table and specify your table name this method will create an object and specify key to access that object the first argument of this method 
right so if your object or you can say your table is not exist then this method will create that first or if your table or you can say your object is created already then this method will just select that object right so i will just specify my first parameter the first parameter is your table name or you can say your object name so the first parameter is gonna be book so i will just specify name for my object just like you specify table name in sql just after that on the second argument here I just wanted to call the curly braces and specify key to that object so when you wanted to access this object you can access that using the keys so using the second argument you can access every row with the unique key so when you put any data in the table this parameter will put a unique id to that row right so i will just say auto increment and specify value true right i will just end the statement using semicolon and here i will just put some data in this database so to store this data you need to store this statement in the variable so i will just say let store and using this store object you can call put method and this put method will insert the data in the database so i will just call comment here and say put method so i will just say store dot put so here i just wanted to insert an object so i will just specify curly braces and say title daily tuition then author is gonna be my name right so this is your first data which you wanted to put in the database now just after that if you wanted to add a second row and add another data you can just call this statement and put here and just change your data so i will just change this daily tuition to press like button right so using the put method you can insert data in your database so let me tell you what we had done here so here we first create a database using index db object and call the open method to create that database and store the index db request object in request db variable just after that i will just call on upgrade needed property of index db request object this property will execute when the database is created right just after that i will just store the result in the db variable and using the result i will just create an object so as i said earlier this book is an object right and the second argument will create unique id to each row right now i will just store the statement in the variable so here is my variable store and using the store variable i will just put a data in the database so using the put method i will just specify this object on the first row right and on the second row i will just put this data now just after that i just wanted to call successful message on the console so what I will do is I will just go up here and call the property of index db request object. So I will just say request db dot on success is equal to and call the function because this is an event handler property and just say here if request db dot ready state if the ready state property is equal to done then i will just say console dot log and in this console dot log i will say message data is successfully inserted into 
database or I will say into indexed DB database right now I will just save my document and run it so I will just right click here and say open with live server now to know your database is created or not just right click on your browser and just say inspect so just go to the application tab right here and here is your IndexedDB database now we don't have any database right now so to create a database you just need to click on this add data button so when we click on this button your database is created and the value is inserted into your database so I will just click on this add data button right so here your database is created so this is your book object and here is your values right so each row specify a new key so when you wanted to access these rows you can use these keys right you can perform different type of operations like insert update and delete and you can store files in this database also if you wanted to learn how to create insert update and delete using this index db database then you can comment me on the comment section i will create a video on this index db database and create crude operations right that is all for this tutorial if you have any question you can ask me in the comment press subscribe button if you find anything useful in this tutorial don't forget to press the bell icon as well as the like button that is all for now we will see you in the next lecture